Last morning in New Zealand. Bit of a bummer, but should be a good day. We've uh, teed up the Cessna from Ufly Wanaka to um, shoot over to Milford Town. Uh, weather looks perfect, blue skies, so can't wait to get in the air. Basically, the way we think of it is any wind less than about 15 to 20 knots is, is predictable. Right? Yep. So we can, we've got a fairly good understanding of what happens. Above 30 knots, it does depend on the size of the valley as to what happens. Okay. So a lot of it's just trial and error. You know, we're going we're gonna to fly on this right-hand side of the valley. We can already feel it's pretty smooth. We don't have any issues with climb performance. We're doing 500 foot a minute at 95 knots at 4,000 feet. So yep. we, we must be in some updraft, right? Yeah. Um, so we're doing pretty well. Okay, conditions are smooth, we've got lots of excess power, we're climbing well, it's looking good. Coming up to our decision point, are we happy? We can see the saddle, we're above it. Okay, yep, we're happy, so we're going to continue on. So we're going to drift across to the right here. Staying on the right-hand side. You want to get nice and close to the right. Because again, even if you did have to turn around here, like right now at this point, we could still, you know, we could still scoot around if we needed to. Yep. Excellent. So here you go, here's your here's your first first Alpine saddle crossing. No way. You got Mount Aspiring up there in the distance. Oh wow. Incredible. So come and round then to the we're right. going round to the left here. Come round to the left. You can see navigating in the valleys is quite tricky, eh? Yeah it is. Everything kinda looks the same. And we're gonna use this whole basin, so we fly around. And we level off sort of anywhere around here. When you're in the mountains it's not so important that you're maintaining altitude. Um, super accurately because you get up and down drafts, you just kind of go with it. But yeah, so these faces around here also get used for heli skiing quite a lot. I bet. So we'll just, we'll just put an angle of bank on now. Yep, 
just like that. And then we can just use that, basically. We just want to use up the most turning room here so we can come in at a nice 45 degree angle on this. Fox, Julia Bravo's just coming up. Albert Van Saddle from the north, 6,000, and then Volta Glacier. Nice, so we'll keep coming around. We'll keep turning in, so we're about 45 degrees. And then we'll roll the wings level there. You know, we can see we've got, and then as you get more practice, you learn how to judge height. So right now we've got about 800 feet of height as we come above it. Now we can start turning around to the right here. That's all ice. That's all ice. Oh, so this is, the Volta, this is the Volta Glacier. Ice, good. And we'll just sort of keep flying up here. So you can see when you're in the glaciers like this, so we'll just pitch up a little bit, just a cruise climb, just because there's a little hump here. Yep. Um, you know, there's not a lot of contrast, right? So this is where you've got to be quite careful because you can lose depth perception and it makes it really hard to figure out how you sort of how you're going. So just sort of hug that side, come around, use hug that, that as a circle. Yep, exactly. Okay. Fox Julia Bravo, Volta Glacier, just under 7,000 operating. We got the west coast out there already. Start that turn around to the left now. Hey, yeah, bring the power back as well. So turning in a high wing is always fun because you can't really, it's quite hard to judge if you're kind of making the turn. Yeah. That's why you've got to be a little bit more careful when you're doing this in high wing aircraft. But we can start descending down as well so we can lower the nose touch. But yeah, you get this, these massive cliffs of ice just below you here as well. Yeah. Yep, we'll bring the power back just below 2,500 we'll start descending down this glacier. Nice. Straight line, probably hug the... thinking the right-hand side. <laughs> Mate, this is really something else. So that's all ice bed there, isn't it? That's all ice, yeah. Bedding up. So even, even in summer, this is all glaciated. Yep. Nice, we'll keep turning around here. Epic stick flying you can ever do, really. Yeah. Those guys in the mule land on this glacier, or like uh, bush planes? I stuff? don't think so, because I don't know. I'm pretty sure this glacier is quite undulated because of the wind that rips through here. Yeah. Um, but I'm not too sure. Don't know. But you can see like the blue of the yeah. glacial ice. Wow. Oh wow. It's pretty special to be able to fly down here.
waterfalls in the background as well. It really seems like we just landed at Jurassic Park. We'll just take one of the caravans. <laughs> Yeah. Huh?